Good morning and welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. I'm here with Prudential Real Estate's Jim Lee and Deb Hartley. Thanks for being with us this morning. Good morning, Chelsea. Good. Good morning. And you guys got here pretty safely. You said it's a beautiful day outside. Beautiful I almost say it. Yeah. Good, very nice. And then, you know, I so saw in the winter forecast some more inches coming in, so it should be a nice weekend, I think. So Excellent. very nice. And you guys have some really interesting information for us for, for those looking to sell and what kind of buyers what they do in their search for homes. Tell us about that. Well, what, what we have found, um, and if uh, Michael put the graphic up for the, from the National Association of Realtors, there is, uh, it seems that there's a huge presence. Everybody, it doesn't matter what you're looking for, a car or a home, everybody's going to the internet. Mm -hmm. So the, if you look at the largest piece of pie there, that graphic shows that um, everybody is looking at the internet for their home. So, and the second largest graphic is their real estate agent. So once they search the internet, then they move on to the real estate agent with their their picks of homes they'd like to see. So they pretty much buyers come to us telling us what they want to see because they found it on the internet. And when they find it on the internet, it isn't always what they see is what they get. In other words, the internet gives you some nice photos and, and a feel for, for a property, but actually being in there and getting a sense of space and location and everything is the real thing. But it just shows uh, the importance of having a presence with your property for sale on the internet. Definitely. And I'm curious, do you have any statistics like how much that has increased over the past 10 <laughs> years? Is it just exponentially people exponentially. are going to it more? Yes. Really? In fact, that graph shows it used to be the realtor that was the largest source. Mm -hmm. And the internet was, you know, it, it has grown over the years, but that internet now is the largest source. Of, of where the buyers come from. Very good. And tell me about the other areas that people look to as well, far as, as buyers as go. Well, as Deb mentioned, the, the, the realtor. People call a realtor and say, let's, let's start looking. So that means a presence on the multiple listing system. So all the properties basically are listed on the multiple listing system. And then we as realtors can do searches based on the needs of the client. Now our job as realtors is to obviously hone into what the buyers are looking for, but when we take a listing and we market that home, we're going to do lots of things to get that maximum exposure on the internet. We're going to have uh, for hire a professional photographer. We're going to take virtual tours. Um, we usually put it to music so it's nice and soothing to look at. So it's. Our, our job is to best display that as best as we can on the internet. And I think, like you said, real estate agents, like what you guys are doing, have kind of made it an, a real experience, you know, to look for a home online. You have, you know, there's a lot, a lot of added um, images and, and, like you say, music and things that kind of take you through a, a nice slideshow right. uh, of a home, and it makes it really accessible for those buyers. The virtual tours are really cool these mm -hmm. days because, I mean, you can walk, vi virtually walk through. Yeah, you can do like the 360 An tours. entire room, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. Very exactly. good. So what, and you know, if you look at the other points on that uh, graph, you know, you've got the yard sign, you know, family friendly, uh, family friend and neighbor, home builder, so on and so forth. You'll see those pieces of the pie become much <clears throat> smaller um, because of the internet presence. In, but, including advertising in the newspaper and magazines, oh, big one. Which, which most sellers think is the key to getting the word out to market their home. Mm -hmm. But that's a very minimal part of it. So really, again, back to the internet. Back. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking here. You know, magazine. It says less than one percent. Isn't right. that amazing? That's so little. It so, seems like that used to be like a really main source that mm -hmm. people would it use. It was prior to the internet, but now you know the buyer, the sellers still want that advertising presence. But it's our job to educate them and tell them that that's not where your buyer is coming from. Mm -hmm. Our job is to be your marketing professional, and if we know that the internet is your best presence, that's our job to market it very heavily there and to our realtor colleague. Mm -hmm. And definitely, like you guys were saying, you, you allow um, that, that seller to get as much exposure as they can to the right kind of audience That's because right. of the marketing. Particularly when a buyer has a high-end property and they're asking us for international marketing. You know, the Rob Report or the Wall Street Journal. Those things look really groovy, but that's not what brings a buyer in. That's not where your buyer pool is coming from. Great. And what other tips can, can you give sellers when they, when they you know, become overwhelmed by, you know, oh, what avenue should I take in doing this? Are there other tips that you, they can yeah. what, what is my in? realtor doing for me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, basically. <laughs> well, what, what we're doing is we're contacting other realtors who have buyers in that particular area, that, that interest, that property. So when we list a property, we know what agents primarily work that area, whether it be a condo or a home or a second home or a lot or whatever, and we contact those other agents 
to at least let them know about this property that we have available? Typically when we take a listing, <clears throat> because we've been in this business so long, we know probably at least the top 25 to 40 realtors that will sell that property. And our job is to market to those realtors so they can get their buyers in there. Very good. And I, mm -hmm. I have a question. I was just thinking of this as we were talking about um, Internet. We know that you know social media and Facebook have made a, a huge presence on the Internet. That's one of the number one sites that people go to. Have Is there a way people can utilize a site like the Internet in that aspect, social media, so, to promote what they're selling? Yes. And the realtors are doing that. They're mm -hmm. starting to use Facebook okay, and so they are. Twitter. And in fact, uh, Jim and I have a big presence mm -hmm. on Facebook and Twitter and we're starting to advertise our properties there now we're not seeing a lot of uh, uh, we're not seeing any pushback from that but we're also not seeing any uh, generation from that mm -hmm. where it's really coming from is, is the websites definitely mm -hmm. well great mm -hmm. information any other tips you have to add or things you'd like to talk about yeah, take advantage of your local realtor they really yeah. know the market and they'll be your guide through the process very good all right Jim Deb thank you so much Thanks, for Chelsea. being with thank us you, this morning some really excellent information for those looking into selling their home their condo or, or you know that market that they need to get in touch with right. and how they need to do that very important to know so thank you Thanks, both Chelsea. of you we have Deb, Deb and Jim from Prudential Real Estate and like they were saying you know check out Prudential Real Estate and see how they can help you with with selling your home or in looking for a new one so we'll be right back after the break thanks for joining us. We protect you, I 